Number one empty prize dude has arrived. Is Trump the main guy or should I say the real thing that beast we've all heard about throughout our lives? We may soon find out according to Trump's mouthpiece Steve Miller. His quote, soon the world will know. Let us in on the secret Steve. What will we soon know? At least give us a head start. Don't you want to make this lethal game show you guys are playing more interesting for you all? Who goes to heaven and who goes to hell? Will it be hell on earth seeing a perfect paranormal storm search of global warming, news war, and then it puts economic turmoil, starvation and torture and police state brutality with the love and approval of the psychopathic killer dictators you so love and embrace around the world like that crazy North Korean guy you write love letters to. The Korean guy who executes subversives and truth tellers up against a wall of flamethrowers and rocket launchers for fun. Seems Trump's followers continue to follow and worship this celebrity like they're in some kind of love trance as many seem to be walking right into a lake of fire trap of their own free will while they're holding his hand. 
It's like once you hate the number of the Antichrist beast you can't let go of it. You can't give it back. Your blindfolded mind won't let you give it back even though you can still see out with your eyes wide open about what's happening but now it's too late to change you can't seem to backtrack away from the dark side. Something's locked in your mind. The blindfold can't be removed once put in place. And seeing real truth should be believing instead of putting faith in faith make believe we should made up lies hoping it will somehow become true and real just because you want it to. Many have already walked into the fire by believing listening to Trump's fake Fox News reporters. They were told the virus was fake and got infected. They were told it was all a democratic hoax so didn't take any precaution. Now they're suing the network for faking them out deceiving them with many deaths as a result. Why are they surprised they're listening to someone who claims to be the new thing of Israel and the second coming of Jesus the Chosen One? Is it being deceived by false prophets part of all these things? Then there's no doubt I guess for thousands of years that this stuff would happen and here we are right in the middle of it. Will the human race end up in Stevie's acid cub with the padlocks on the doors? Trump's other mouthpiece and demonic advisor Steve and body disposal cub. You can't make this stuff up. Google it. This acid tub stuff is as weird as it gets. Looks like they put Florida into quarantine now but a little late now that all those young geech goers are going home to spread it to grandma and grandpa. This is where the largest retiree population is. Probably the epicenter of the boomer remover virus. Once gone lots of that SS money will then be available for the rich. They won't even have to pass any new cuts to social security or medicare. The designer virus will do it for them and no one will know the better of it. While well, most of the 1% and corporate elites and bloodlines most likely have an antidote they take for that lethal bug. Won't hurt them. Long life ahead for them taking that adrenochrome drug. That all aside hopefully if the time comes someone will have the courage to wrestle that red button away from Mr. Beast which he is in full control of which he is just dying to push. No one can stop him. As one person he has full control to push it. That button is haunting him right now killing him begging him to push it. It's screaming out right now. Push me. We shall see.